Hello and welcome to the next section of this course and in which we will focus on the Python programming aspects of our projects. In this very first video we will focus on writing some code uh, that you are really not obliged to understand 100% because it is common to any PyQt5 projects that you will create in the future. You can just copy and paste the same line of code in any of your future GUI projects. So this code is simply a template that contains the importing of the PyQt5 libraries, then to connect to the program and Qt designer file and make a load, then to define a class and a constructor to hold all uh, the remaining code. So these are common steps that I do in each new project by just copying and pasting the same template. What I change is only the body uh, of the class by adding my new functions to interact with the widget, etc. So First thing first, let's create a new Python empty file and save it in our project folder. So let's go to save as and select our uh, project folder. It was my first PyQt5 and give it a name, for example, inventory uh, manager. Okay, inventory manager and click save. So now it's saved. We can select our working directory here, and at the left, at the right side, we can see a help uh, variable explorer and file explorer, in which you will see our database and our design uh, window. Okay. So now we'll just to reset the kernel. Okay, uh, because I was running some code before, so just to clean uh, the Python console. So here you can see the the e Python, the i Python console. So let's start importing. So from pyqt5 dot qt widgets, import everything, and from pyqt5 dot qt GUI import everything and from pyqt5 import uh, qt widgets okay and we write from pyqt5 dot qt core import everything from pyqt5 import so here we write dot uh, qt widgets import uh, q main window so it's n q main window and also from pyqt5 dot qt widgets import q application so in any of your future projects just import the same things so just copy paste don't waste your time to think each time which things i have to import just import all this line of code so we'll add from PyQt5, import PyQt4, PyQt uh, core, sorry. And we will import sys, we will import iOS, import path, and from PyQt5, we will dot uh, uc, will import load UI type. So this function will allow us to load the graphical user interface that you we designed in Qt Designer. And we will affect it to uh, a form class equal load ui type so let's get the path of our projects path dot their name and we will search for a file that's it called main dot ui so remember we called our design main dot ui in qt designer and we will import sqlite since we are dealing with the database projects so let's compile this control enter and we see that there is no error that's good Let's continue and compile uh, other lines. This is good. Let's execute also this line of code. So load UI type is good. And now let's load our window. So it's loaded. And execute this line also. That's good. Okay, now we finish with importing parts. Let's create now a main class. And we, we design Q main window, remember? 
So Q main window because we selected Q main window in our QT designer. So we have to write it here. And second variable is the form class. This is the, this is the design. So and let's define our constructor. Uh, and we write parent equal none because we have no parent. And we call super function. Uh, so we make main self dot init parent and later q main window dot init self okay and self dot setup ui so self so this we call in every project and a handle button so this is a function that will handle the click events of of our of all our buttons so that's it so this is the definition of our constructor so this is common in all the projects so just copy and paste the same uh, the same template and here we'll write we'll define our function to the to, for the button clicks and we will keep it empty by just writing pass so this is just to just to bypass to bypass for the moment this function we will write the code later okay and after you finish so we have to go directly to the bottom to complete our template this is a pyqt template so here is uh, our code so this is the specific code for our projects and completely at the bottom just define main function and write app equal q application uh, sys.args and uh, a window define a window which is equal to main class okay that's it and a window dot show just this is to display our window and app dot execute okay so that's it so this template if you execute it should show our window and lastly if name equal equal to main uh, what we will do so we will run main that's it so we finished the template for pyqt projects and if we execute everything we should uh, our code our program should load the designer window so here we will write our code so let's save and execute so there is some error here handle buttons take one positional argument okay so we have maybe to check our handle button definition in the constructor maybe here is pass a uh, yes this should be just empty just like this let's execute again and check main object has no attribute handle button so this is another error and it seems that button should be with s yes let's write s that's it and now execute again so now it's loaded it's in the bottom so here is it so this is our window it's uh, ex executed and loaded by our python program you can just close it and check again run our script click and here is it so it's connected now to our to our script correctly and it's uh, doing nothing because the commands and the widgets are not programmed yet and this we will start doing it in the next uh, videos okay check the buttons are there okay so as recap so for each pyqt project just start by importing the libraries as i did import path and import the ui and then define a class and write the constructor exactly as the same and define a function at the bottom and that's all after this, you will just need to start 
writing your code. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.